video update of the young birds and the breeding program. So the birds are back on eggs. These two little ones look like they're almost ready to come out. Same thing with these two little guys. Looks like they need about another week maybe. And uh, we'll be pulling them out, add them to the group and hopefully start training them. This pair is back on their eggs. They had jumped off their first set of eggs. So they're sitting on their uh, second set now. Put them together kind of late in the year then we got these guys here also i'll be adding these two young ones when i pull the rest um today i noticed this guy here was already uh pecking at the bowl by himself so when birds start doing that um it's giving me a good indication that this guy's probably going to be the leader um as far as uh the first one to eat and stuff like that and then also when they're out of the bowl it, it's almost telling me they're ready uh to go in the kit box i do like to pull my young birds really really early uh had a lot of questions about how early or about what age do i pull my young birds so i pull my young birds at about i want to say three weeks of age this pair is back on eggs another pair that had jumped off their eggs i really like this hen this guy here was one of my uh good performers so i'm hoping he reproduces himself so waiting on their babies and then out of this pair we did get the one black baby i think it's gonna be a black mix wing actually I think I showed you guys. Oh no, it's gonna be all black. All right, yeah, I like that. I like saw, I like uh, black self pigeons or red self, dun self, whatever they are. I prefer them self. So um, we got seven out of the last round. So a few pairs didn't do what they were supposed to. Got the old guy laying there. They are back on eggs and I guess we can go ahead and check their eggs together. Find out if they're fertile. Let's see here. Mm, I don't think they're gonna be fertile. Not this one. And this one is fertile. You guys can see you really can't see through the egg. It's already kind of dark. Versus how this one. You can see kind of, I don't know if you guys can see what I see, but you can kind of see right through it. So at least we got one. I'll just leave both. So when the baby hatches, <clears throat> it can keep its legs close together. Real quick, I didn't fly them today. Kind of windy. <clears throat> you guys can see right there, my, uh, my uh, gauge tree is kind of moving around and it was a little bit worse earlier. So I chose not to fly them today, kind of windy. And I also didn't feed them today because I fed the birds up uh, yesterday when I flew them last, um, which was day eight. And I fed them up because they did so good and I was proud of them. They flew, they came back and uh, I just fed them all they, all they wanted. So there was uh, extra feed on the tray and everybody was on their perch. So that's how I know everybody got really full. So. Just a quick tip guys, that's one thing I learned uh, from one of the best um, in the game and then a few other guys that <clears throat> have shared that information with me. Um, a bird is like a little hamster. The little pouch that they got up front, <clears throat> they fill it up with feed. So as the system 
as for feed or whatever the i'm not a scientist i don't know the exact wording i just know that the little pouch in the front it's uh, they fill it up with the feed and then they start digesting it as the system needs it <clears throat> some birds are going to burn it faster some birds are going to uh, burn it slower you have to figure that out who's doing what now when you feed your birds up like that um the pouch stays full for about 24 hours to where the birds are right now uh they're on the 24 hour mark so they're probably hungry just because there's no more feed inside of that pouch so i'm not gonna feed these guys today we're just gonna kind of look at them everybody's looking healthy everybody's looking like um no one's down everybody's really alert you know you guys can see all the birds look good nobody's got their eyes drooping or nothing so i'm gonna just leave them kind of hungry get up early tomorrow morning and fly them before work and uh, just try to get them uh, trained as much as possible here hopefully i can keep these guys in the air and uh, show you some performance so this is the newest round we're going to be training and as you guys can see this is how young i pull them out my gauge is kind of like when they're starting to feather out at the bottom of their wing to me that's when it's time for them to come out so in two separate nests i noticed this bird right here was eating by itself and in the other nest this bird was eating by itself so once I see that in the breeder, it kind of helps me that these two guys here know exactly what the feed is and they're eating on their own. So by the time tomorrow comes, these two guys, once I feed them the pellets, they'll peck at them and the rest usually follow. I don't ever uh, really get problems doing this. Um, it is a little bit more of a task because you have to make sure everybody's eating. But one thing you want to do is make sure on the day that you're going to pull them out that they're all fed like you can see their pouches they're all full so even if they were to stress out for tomorrow they have feed in their pouch so the critical point is teaching them um or have someone teach them how to eat which is going to be these two older guys over here So I'll show you guys this the progress of these guys as I train these guys here. So soon we'll add these guys and then um, on the next round we should have one full kit of young birds. And then once I get them all together we'll see where they go and what they can do. Comment, subscribe and let me know what you guys think.